everybody. Welcome back to Let's Get Vocal with Rena. My name is Rena Cook and I am a voice and speech trainer. I also help people with things like confidence, presence, gravitas, presentation. And on Let's Get Vocal with Rena, I deal with your questions. Questions that you have about your presentation, about your communication style, any feedback that you've received or questions that you have about your own voice and, and your level of performance anxiety, for example. So today's question, I'm really excited about this one because it's one of my favorite topics. This is from Janet. Janet sells a line of health and wellness products. She writes, I think my presentations are pretty boring. I have a team of ladies who I want to inspire and motivate. I often see them checking their watches or their messages when I'm talking to them. They just don't seem to be as excited as I want them to be. What can I do to be more engaging? Wow, Janet, this is such a huge subject. I wrote a whole book about it. Shameless commerce moment. Empower your voice for women in business, politics, and life. Check it out. I think it's got a lot of things that you'll enjoy. But to your specific question, how do you make your voice more engaging? Well, know that audiences love change. They love variety. Whenever we change something up in our voices, people pay a little bit more attention. And the things that we can control are pitch. I can move my pitch a little higher or I can make it lower. I can speak a little faster. I can control my rate of speed by going a little faster or really slowing it down. I can change my quality. You know, sometimes I just want to have this kind of quality to make people sit up and take notice. And sometimes I want to warm up the quality for a little bit more gravitas, a little bit more leaderly sound. So these are some things that we can do to shake up our speeches and to make them just a little bit more compelling. I want to talk today about pitch variety. I want to give you a couple of exercises that will help you bring more pitch to your speeches. Most people only use two or three notes at the most when they're speaking. That's higher or lower. Most of us stay pretty much in the same place, usually on the bottom of our pitch range, and that gets boring pretty quickly. But our vocal folds don't know how to do anything else unless we teach them that they can. We have to train those muscles. And vocal folds are just muscles that are no bigger than my thumbnails right here. And they're vibrating hundreds of times a second each time I am speaking, every moment I'm speaking. So I want those vocal folds to know that they can get higher and they can get lower. I have to exercise them, right? Before the baseball pitcher can throw a 90 mile an hour fastball, he has to work his arm so that his arm gradually knows, hey, yeah, we're capable of throwing a fastball. You want your vocal folds to know, hey, we're capable of having more pitch variety. Here's an exercise, I call it the E siren. And when you catch on to what's happening, you can do it with me. I'm just going to start in the middle of my pitch range on an E sound like this. E Go ahead, join me. E and then change to oo. Ooh. So we go a little higher, a little lower, a little higher, a little lower. We don't push. We don't try to go high est, low est. It's like high-ish, low-ish, and just easily let those vocal folds move along those pitches. Do that as part of your warm-up, and it will help your vocal folds and your presentation to have a little bit more pitch variety. So if you want this exercise and a whole lot more, please check out the book, 
Empower Your Voice for Women in Business, Politics, and Life, or go to my website where I have some things that I think will help you out. So thank you so much for tuning in to the fifth episode of Let's Get Vocal with Rena. And remember how I always end these segments, breathe deeply, speak your truth boldly, and the world will listen. Ta-ta for now. Mm -hmm.